Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video we're looking at another space station and this one is called the Holtec Terminus Station which is this thing right here. So I've done quite a few Holtec stuff and I have done a station before from this same creator but this one is a very nice one if you're looking for a way to start off a new survival game in space. It acts as a nice hub, much like those stations you find on the Easy Start Earth, Easy Start Mars and all that. So you can simply paste this in and away you go. So pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, here we go. So it's not the fuel station, it's not the Silverhawk, it is the Terminus Station, which is 3,517 large blocks. It uses the decorative block, decorative block number two, and the Economy Deluxe DLC pack. And there are some more information about it. It does have a few scripts on here, such as Whip's Auto Door and Airlock script. We've got the automatic LCD screens and then a custom script, which will then change the light screen to red whenever a pad is occupied by a ship. So we're going to start by taking a quick look around the outside and then we're going to fly ship, dock it up and head on inside. So starting around here, we have got some small little pads which are featured on the other station run the same creator. We've got a small pad with a connector in the middle, except this time we've got some LCD screens that tell you the pad's number and some lights which will, like I said earlier, change colour when you dock. So they'll go from green to red. Dropping down and just taking a look around here, we can see how it's been connected up via those connectors. We've got one hell of a lot of auction farms connected onto a lot of hydrogen tanks, which is how you're going to refuel your hydrogen ships if you ever needed to do so. Coming across through here, this is our large ship docking area where instead of landing on a pad, we will simply roll up next to it, come close and connect to that connector and do whatever you need to do. Now it is a little bit of an issue, not with the station, but more of ship designs. So you will need to have a door fairly close to a connector in order to have a smooth transition walking from your ship over to this station. But we do have another set of green lights on here which will change colour when you dock up and a small galling turret right there just to blast any kind of meteors or pirates that come close. If we just come up and above here we've got our DLC catwalk which then walks all the way across over to this door which will then connect up to the other pads and eventually go inside the main station. On the opposite side, we've got the same pad set up as the first ones we saw. We've got dock two and dock four. If we come a little bit closer over to here, this is our main little walkway, which is built out of small windows, some blocks, we've got some lights and the traditional catwalks that lead across into here. And as we walk inside, we've got some nice green arrows telling us where we're going. So coming out of there and coming all the way across over to nearly the main body, we've got a lovely solar panel set up right here for some nice renewable power. We can see some programmable blocks, we can see a control seat in there. That is kind of like the brains of the station which are controlling everything. And as we move around onto the main station, we've got some interior pillars with lights on top. We've got some nice white and greyish block work going across. Another galley turret for some more protection and a antenna to display where you're located. So. Anyone who's in trouble can find you quite quickly. And then last but not least, like the other station, we have a giant landing pad. Now this is pad number five, where we've got three different connectors to connect up to, which is quite nice if your connector is not central on your ship. Once again, we've got lights going around the outside, which will change color when you dock up. And then we can come all the way across over to here, where this door is to head straight inside the station. As for the main body of the main portion, we can see some beds all the way around the outside, so like so. We've got a lovely glass piece with some cover walls going all the way around the side. And then moving all the way around the side here, we've got some more beds and some more lovely block work. Then as we come down, let's take a sneaky look under here. So we've got a bunch of modules all connected up to a large refinery. So if you did want to drag your resources over here, refine it and then take it away, you can do. Which is why I said this station makes a perfect starting base. And as we move all the way across around here to this main part, we've got a large reactor to power the station and another Gatling turret right there. And we can see how that's all being connected up all the way across there to some auction tank to make sure you don't suffocate while in the station. We can take a sneaky look all the way around to here where we can see the top of the reactor and we can see some more conveyors, some more modules and all that and how they've been all attached up. 
Underneath the solar panel, we've got a similar story with the catwalks. They're just the solar panels, which just about covers the outside of the whole tech station. It's a very brief outside because there's not too much to talk about. It's just a fantastic design when you look at it from a distance. So now it's time for me to take control of my character and we can dock up this lovely little ship right here onto one of these pads. I think it has a connector underneath. No, it doesn't, so we won't be able to see it change lights. But it's nice and small for me to just come and plop myself down and then just hop out like so. So while we're on the docking pads, we do have gravity generator, which is very, very nice. So back on the pad where I docked my ship, we can then just walk all the way across to here where we come into this little interior part, which will then point us to the main station. But we do have another few ways where we can go, such as to pad number four, pad number two, and then cross to pad number one, like so. It's very neat. We can just hop across. There is no risk of ever falling over there unless you're terrible at jumping. We can just walk around over to here, open up this doorway and walk across to our large docking pad. Turning around and actually going into the main station, this is what we get, a lovely walkway, nice lot of windows to view outside at the lovely ships docking up, nice lot of lights to lighten up this area, and we come across to this doorway. Coming inside, we've got our auto door and airlock strip, which will automatically close the door up, pump this bit with oxygen and allow you to go inside like so, so the doors close up all nicely. And we have an LCD screen just above there, telling us the landing pad's numbers with a gravity generator right there. And this is the interior of the station. I thought I'd add in a few more copies of myself to liven it up just a little bit. Yes, it's a very nice, very small, very simplistic, but great base to be in. So let's start by going on this side, which is our food area. So we've got a serving area, our kitchen block, and a bunch of tables to eat your food on. It's like a fast food restaurant where we can order some cheeseburgers. Yes, we can just walk up to this lovely person right here, order some food, and then go sit down with your fellow friends and eat it. Behind here, we've got an armory locker. We got our floor plan display and another locker right here to store some food and whatnot in. Walking around to here, we've got ourselves a jukebox and an ATM, which is quite tactically placed. So you can withdraw your money and instantly go and buy some burgers. Round to here, we've got our planters, we've got some freight crates to store a few bits and bobs in. And then we've got some chairs, we've got some beds here, where we can sit out and view into the distance. Behind, we've got some lockers, where we can store some more stuff in. And we just view outside at the pads through this bed window. Moving all the way across to here, we then have our main cargo access. So we can drop stuff in here, such as resources, and it will find its way to the refinery, get refined, and you can withdraw it which is why, once again, this is the perfect starting base if you wanted a space exploration adventure. On this side of the room, we've got a bunch more beds, which light up when you get inside. I didn't know they actually lit up when you got inside them. That's quite neat. But yes, once again, we can view outside the little windows at the docking pads behind. Walking across through here, this is the larger docking pad doorway, where if we were to close that up, come across to here, we can then access our larger ship. Coming back inside, and through that, we then come across to our information desk. So we've got our fuel station, our info point, and our check-in, where we can just come in and check in, get some information about the site, and maybe order some fuel. On this desk over here, not too much is going on, but it looks like they're complaining about something. As we come into the staff-only area, we've got a bunch of LCD screens telling you every single thing about this station. So the cargo containers, we then got our component storage, we then got our ores, our power, our ingots, and all that all the way around like so. And then if we were to come through here, we then have a doorway, which is where we saw earlier where our programmer blocks are sitting, and a little seat where we can control the turrets on and off, and control the reactors on and off. So if you don't want to use your uranium, you can always switch that off and rely on the solar power. Coming back through here, then walk all the way around to this side right here where we've got a large LCD screen telling us what ships are docked where. And we've got some batteries just below it. Around here, this is where our cryopods and quick recharge stations are going to be. So we've got our DLC catwalks that go all the way around, our standard cryopods, and a medical bay to respawn on and perhaps change your outfit if you wanted to. Walking all the way and up the steps, we've got even more cryopods and our gravity generator right there. And last but not least, we've got a DLC projector table sitting in the middle, projecting the current terminus station. 
and that just about covers the inside and outside of the Holtec Terminus station. It's a fantastic, very light on block count station for you to use as a starting base in a survival game or to simply have in your multiplayer world for people to come and have a little meeting point, little trading area and whatnot. So if you want to download and play around with it yourself, it'll be in the description below and I'll be back with another showcase video sometime soon. Bye bye.